first thing we do, if we're trying to calculate how far away the storm is, is we write down what we're given in the question. So the time we counted that as being four seconds, that was the time between the, the lightning going and then the thunder, hearing the thunder. So four seconds there. And the speed V, the speed of sound through air, is 340 meters per second. We calculated it as 333.5, but we'll take it as the given value of 340, which is pretty close to what we got anyway. What we're trying to figure out is distance, how far away the storm is. So we write a question mark for that. We check that these are in the standard units, which they are, meters per second, seconds. We don't have to change them in any way there. We then look in our data sheet and we find the correct equation. So it's D equals V times T. There's no need to rearrange that because uh, we've got what we want on the left-hand side. We plug in the values from here. So 340 multiplied by 4. We then get our calculator. We type in 340 multiplied by 4 and we get 1360 meters. And we give our units and we underline. So that storm, just by timing the time between the flash of lightning and the thunder, hearing the thunder, is roughly about 1.4 kilometers away. Roughly one and a half kilometers away, which is 1,360 meters. And that's how you lay out all your equations in physics. That's how you work with the distance equals speed times time equation.